Good morning, everyone. The opening of this week's Torah portion, Moshe Rabbeinu teaches the Jewish people, six days you shall work, and on the seventh day you shall rest. And then he says, you shall not kindle a flame on the day of Shabbat. Now we know that there are 39 forbidden forms of labor on Shabbat. You're not allowed to kindle a fire. You're not allowed to weave. You're not allowed to plant. You're not allowed to build. You're not allowed to write. Why is it that Moses only highlights one commandment that you're forbidden to do on Shabbat. You're not allowed to kindle a flame on the day of Shabbat. And one very interesting answer is that this week's Torah portion follows last week's Torah portion. We, we read about the golden calf. And what happened at the golden calf? Aaron tells Moses they brought their gold. Aaron tells Moses they brought their gold and their silver and I threw it into the fire and out came this golden calf. And what did Moses do when he saw the golden calf? It says that Moses threw the golden calf into the fire and destroyed it in fire and then grounded it, grinded it down to dust. And so the golden calf was constructed and destructed through fire. And now we understand why the one prohibition that Moses highlights is the prohibition of fire. Because what Moses was teaching the Jewish people is that fire has the ability to create fire, passion, and literal fire is a tremendous power for constructive good. It could heat, it could warm, but it also could be the most destructive force. It could create a golden calf, or it can destroy literally and figuratively. Anger, pa fire, passion. And that's what the six days are all about. Six days you shall work, and you should use your fire in a positive, constructive way. To use your energy, to use your power, to use your inner fire for purposes of positivity. And to use your fire to also destroy anything that is negative, as Moses destroyed the golden calf. But when Shabbat comes, that's the day from refraining from using your constructive fire. Because on Shabbat we recognize and realize that the ultimate fire, the ultimate ability to construct in this world is not in our hands, but in God's hands. And that's why at the burning bush, God came to Moses in the midst of a fire, but the bush, the bush would not be consumed in the fire. And what God was saying to Moses was that the Jewish people, no power on earth can destroy the Jewish people. And in the miracle of Hanukkah, the flames of the candles kept on burning because God says the ability for the fire to burn, the little flame to burn for eight days is in my hands. Ultimately, God holds all the power. And when we step back on Shabbat, we recognize that our true fire, our true strength, our true ability and our power to build and construct and not be destroyed comes from God. That is why Shabbat, we begin with the lighting of the candles before Shabbat and then with the Havdalah fire at the end of Shabbat. We begin and end Shabbat with fire, but on Shabbat we remember that fire belongs to God. And that's the strength of the Jewish people, like the little burning bush. We can never be destroyed by all the fires of our enemies. And on the other hand, our little flame never extinguishes like the holiday of Hanukkah, it burns on and on. Our son Ozil went to a concert in, in King's Theater on Sunday night, a thousand people, over a thousand people, came to hear an Israeli perform a beautiful concert. And in the middle of the concert, they called on a special guest. His name is Shalom Shitrit. And the Azil took a video because we visited him in Tel Shomer Hospital. He's the soldier from the Golani Brigade who lost one of his legs fighting and defending and saving lives on October 7th. And when Shalom Shitrit got up on the stage, they carried him on and he stood there on one leg as a, a, over a thousand people standing on two legs applauded him and cheered him for his courage and his bravery. And he said something so beautiful. He said, I'm a member of the Golani Brigade unit, but after October 7th, I joined the most elite unit in the world, which is the unit of Am Yisrael, the Jewish nation. And he says, in my hospital bed in Tel Shomer, I got to meet this beautiful unit because Jews from all over Israel and all over the world came flocking to my hospital room to strengthen me, to 
support me, to encourage me, to love me. And I realize what a great nation we have. That's the fire that we have, the fire in our souls, which is expressed in our love and warmth, like fire, unity for one another. And that is the enduring power and strength of the Jewish people. And on Shabbat, we remember where that power comes from, where that fire emanates from, from God Himself. Have